Patrick from Code That Converts here, and today I'm going to be answering one of the most commonly asked questions searched on Google by Shopify merchants or people that use Shopify to sell products. And that question is how to add and edit breadcrumbs into your Shopify store. Now, if you found this video by searching it up, I'm going to assume you probably know what breadcrumbs are, but just in case you don't, I have a nice little definition for you right here. So breadcrumbs are a form of navigation that will make your customers aware of their current location inside your Shopify store. Breadcrumbs will also provide a bunch of links that customers can use to go to previous pages connected to the page they are currently viewing. So let me give you a good example of when a breadcrumb would be useful. Let's say you have a Shopify store that has lots of pages, lots of products, and you use social media to promote lots of the stuff you do on your store. Obviously with a social media post, you're gonna provide a link to your store, right? Now, what if that link is not a link that leads directly to the homepage? What if that link is a link that leads somewhere inside your store internally, right? A breadcrumb will help a customer realize exactly where they're at in your store. Now, of course, uh, the modern day customer could probably figure out where they are in your Shopify store if given enough time to think about it and really look through your site. But you have to understand that when you're dealing with e-commerce, first impressions are everything. When a customer comes to your store, if you give them a great user experience, they, they're going to feel better about your brand. If you can answer the question of where am I right now without them even having to think about it to themselves, that's just better for you. And that increases the likelihood of the customer opting into your email list or just straight up buying your products. It at least gives you a better chance of being able to do that. And having a good user experience is great for brand awareness too. Because if your customer feels good about using your site, They'll come back, they'll tell their friends, they might share it, all that, right? So with all that in mind, I'm going to show you how you can add breadcrumbs to your Shopify store for free and how you can make some basic edits to it. So keep in mind that this will work whether you're using a Shopify 1.0 theme or a Shopify 2.0 theme. Either way, this will work. And if you stick around to the end, I have a free gift for you. You're gonna really enjoy this. So this is a pretty good example of breadcrumb navigation being used on a real Shopify store. We're currently on a Shopify store called the Modern Shop. And as you can see, we're on the product page. We're on the product page for their 1948 Creamer by Jonathan Adler product. And underneath the header of the Modern Shop, we can see the breadcrumb navigation right here. You see the current page that we're on as the last element included in the breadcrumb. And you can see the pages that it's connected to. So just looking at this, we can see that this product is most likely a product that is included in the accessories collection in this Shopify store. And then from accessories, to get to the top level navigation of the store, obviously you'd go back to the home page. So this last element in the breadcrumb, you can see that it's not a clickable link. And the reason for that is because you don't wanna provide a link for the current page the customer is on. If you click one of the other elements of the breadcrumb though, it'll take you back to that spot. So I just clicked the link to the accessories collection and it took me back to that collection. Now this is super important too, because let's say, for example, the modern shop decides to run a social media ad campaign because they're doing a deal on all the products in their accessories collection. They're gonna provide a link to their accessories collection in the ad campaign. And when the customer hits the page, it's important to let them know exactly where they're at in the site so they don't have to think to themselves, okay, where am I? What other pages are connected to this thing? It's just a better user experience. So now that we know what breadcrumbs look like, 
we can finally start to add it to our Shopify theme for free. So as I've told you in the earlier parts of the video, the code that I'm gonna provide for you will work whether you have a Shopify 1.0 theme or a Shopify 2.0 theme. It'll work for both of them. Okay, let's get into it. All right, so we're currently looking at a Shopify test development store that I use for Shopify projects. This store uses a customized version of the Shopify refresh theme, which is a Shopify 2.0 theme. But as I've said, this is gonna work for you regardless of whatever theme you use. So I'm on one of our product pages, the default product page inside of the theme customizer. How I got here is when you first open up the theme in the theme customizer, it'll show you the home page. I click this and I clicked to go to the product page template, which is one of the pages you can see the breadcrumb on. And if you hop over to theme settings, you're gonna see an option called breadcrumb navigation. Well, if you go right now, you're not gonna see it because we didn't add it in yet, but after we're done, you'll see an option called breadcrumb navigation. And I've given you a few options here. I've given you the option to show or hide the breadcrumb from your customers. I've given you the option to change the icon used to uh, as a delimiter for each link in the breadcrumb. That icon is in, this in between each link right here. You have the choice between the slash and the angle right. And I'm giving you the option to change the color of the breadcrumb as well. So you can pick something that can more closely match your site's branding colors. Now, in order for us to add this to our theme, we're gonna have to hop back to the Shopify admin. We're gonna make sure that we're on the themes option inside of the sales channel under online store. And we're gonna pick the theme that we wanna use to do this. I'm going to use this theme right here, breadcrumb test store to show you as an example. So we're gonna click the three dots here and click the option that says edit code. This is where we'll be working. So very first thing I want you to do is I want you to go to the folder called snippets and we're gonna add a new snippet. We're gonna call this snippet breadcrumbs. Okay, so this part's important too. So in the description of this video, I put a link to a blog post that I wrote about the same topic I'm recording the video for. In that blog post, if you go to it, you'll find some code that we're gonna use to add to our breadcrumbs.liquid file right here. If we hop, I'm currently looking at a preview of the blog post, but when you'll be looking at it, it'll be the actual live version of the post. You're gonna hover down to the header that says code for breadcrumb.liquid. Now, if you hover over the box that has all the code in it, on the top right, you're gonna see a button that says copy. I'm gonna click that. And we're gonna add it in. And we're gonna save. Now that we got our breadcrumb added in, we are going to close the snippets folder. We're gonna go to the config folder and open a file called settings underscore schema.json. Now this file controls all the theme settings that's currently used by your theme. And we're gonna plug this in somewhere closer to the top. Let's say you see this opening bracket here. You're gonna look for the bracket that closes it. And we're gonna add our theme settings for the breadcrumb directly after the bracket that closes it. So for me, that's line nine. I can see there's a comma right here denoting for me to enter in a new bracket. If we hop back over to the blog post, also in the description, like I said, we're gonna scroll down to a header that says code to put in setting schema. We're gonna copy that. And we're gonna enter it in on line 10. I'll be very careful with this because if you mess this up, uh, the page will error out, but I'll show you exactly what to do if it does. 
So I can pay, as you see, I pasted it in on line 10. And if I close the bracket, it ends on line 43, I think, right? So let's scroll down to line 43. You can see this is where it ends. Now, every closing bracket has to have a comma come after it. All you have to do is add a comma in, and everything should be right with the world. We're gonna save that. Now, the last thing we're gonna do is we're going to go to the layout folder, and we're gonna go to a file called theme.liquid. You're going to search in the code for a line of text that says content for layout. Now, what I like to do with this is I like to do Command F or Control F, depending on uh, what kind of computer you're using. If you're using a Mac, obviously Command F. Windows, Control F. And search for content for layout. I found it on line 254. So we're gonna add something right on top of where it says content for layout. We're gonna hop back over to that blog post again, and we're gonna copy the code to put in theme.liquid. And copy that, and we are going to paste that on top of content for layout. And then we're just gonna move this in here just so that it looks nice and pretty. And we're gonna save this. Okay, so let's actually go look at our theme again. Remember the theme is called breadcrumb test store for me. So I'm gonna look at the breadcrumb test store in the Shopify theme customizer. And I'm gonna go back to the product page because that's one of the pages the breadcrumb should appear on. And you can see I have the breadcrumb here. Now, it's in a different spot than the way you saw it in previously because I added it directly to the top, but you can see breadcrumb navigation. All the options are here. So if you followed all the instructions I provided to you in this video, well, congratulations, you've successfully added breadcrumb navigation to your Shopify store. So, yay you, but I did mention at the beginning of the video that if you stuck around to the end, I had a free gift for you. So you can see in the theme settings for the breadcrumb navigation, I've provided a few basic options to get you started. But as a Shopify merchant, you might wanna have even more customization options to have more control over the look and feel of your breadcrumb navigation. So I've created an updated version of the breadcrumb code that has a few new options inside of it. The first addition is I've added in even more icons you can choose from to separate the links in between each of the links in the breadcrumb. So as you can see, I only have the options angle right and slash in this version of it, but in the version I'll provide to you, the updated one, there'll be even more options. You also have the option to change the background color of the background surrounding the breadcrumb navigation links. And you'll have the option to add an accent color to the link of the current page you're currently on. This is really good because customers will be completely clear as to what page they're on in the breadcrumb. So to get access to this updated version of the breadcrumb code, you need to go over to the post, the blog post we have in the description of this video, and you're gonna scroll to the bottom and you're gonna join our email list at Kodak Converts. After you join our Kodak Converts email list, you're going to get access to a members only tutorial that'll show you how to implement this updated version of the breadcrumb code to your Shopify store. Okay, so before we wrap up this video, I'm gonna show you a little preview of what the updated version of the breadcrumb will look like in your Shopify store. As promised, here's a little preview of what the updated extended version of the breadcrumb will look like. So 
you can see I have breadcrumb navigation in my theme settings. If I open it up, I have a bunch more options and they're all categorized. So we have icon settings over here. I added a new option to allow you to use a home icon next to the home link. I added that in because that's something that I've seen on popular examples of breadcrumbs online. So you have that option and this will inherit the color of whatever breadcrumb color you choose. And I also added a bunch of new icon options. A few of the ones I like are double right and heavy angle right. And there's a bunch of other options for you as well for you to check out. I also added in the ability to change the background color surrounding the breadcrumb in your color settings. So I'm going to change the background color to be this dark blue we have. You're going to have to go online on Google and look up a hex code for the color you want. So let's say we're looking up a, a hex code for the color blue. You would just type in uh, color blue CSS hex code on Google and you'll probably find a bunch of options. Or you can just copy the hex code that I have down here. Or you can just use the color picker tool that Shopify provides for you to find the hex code. All right, so now the background is that same blue and I'm gonna change the text to be white. Pretty cool, right? Now I'm gonna revert the color to show you the last thing that I added in. I added in the ability to add an accent color to the current page you're currently on. This will let a customer know exactly what page they're on in the breadcrumb navigation. If they're confused, it's just that extra little bit to help them figure out what's going on and to improve the user experience. But in order for it to work, you're gonna to wanna to enable the accent color for the last link. And then from here, you can pick whatever color you want. Pretty cool stuff. I think it's an awesome free gift. Like I told you, if you wanna get access to this, you're going to want to go in the description, click that blog post, scroll to the bottom, and join our email list at Code That Converts and you'll get access to that tutorial that's members only to be able to add in this updated and extended version of the breadcrumb to your Shopify store. Okay, I'm gonna wrap the video up now. Hope you enjoyed and see you on the next one.